Hello and welcome to lesson four of our seven part video series. Today we're going to teach you how to throw straight punches from uh, Charlie's favorite stance, which is his square set Eastern European stance. This is where he feels comfortable. Um, we're going to just recap as well what we've done in the first three videos. So I'm going to get Charlie to set up into his boxing stance now. So his lead foot on the on the rear, the lead heel on the lead line, the rear toe on the line. His hands come back nice and loose up to his face. He makes a diamond with his fingers, which he's done perfectly. Thumb underneath, hands over nose, here. And like we did in video three, we had the hip turn. What we want to do here with Charlie is we're now going to connect the hand to that hip turn. He's going to throw a straight punch. The idea of this is that when Charlie throws a straight punch, He's going to rotate his thumb towards the ground. His shoulder needs to be relaxed because the power needs to come up through the ground, out through his body, and into the end of his punch here. So the shoulder should, in theory, hit his chin if it's loose. There should be no squeezing of the upper body when he throws the punch. It's a power transfer from up through his toe, out through his hand. And his weight should transfer from left to right. So Charlie, do the best you can, mate. Throw a left punch and just stay there. Good, perfect. Here you can see Charlie's hands down, his head's tucked behind the shoulder, his non-punching hand is on his nose, so if a punch came through the center line to be able to catch it, his body can block, and also he's safe here from overhand. If he needs to, if a punch comes over high, he can just duck his head underneath his chin, and he's now protected. So this position is very, very strong. The other thing for a boxer, a boxer is most vulnerable when they've thrown a punch. So you see Charlie is open here. But if he struck his opponent properly at long distance, then he should be pretty safe or he can move away from his, his uh, opponent when he's thrown that punch. So come back to position. Good, Charlie. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go left to right. We're going to throw a one-two, please, mate. Good. And breathe out when you punch. The most important thing here is to breathe out when you punch. Good. Keep going. Keep demonstrating. Thank you very much. Good job. Fantastic. You can see through Charlie's hip, he's now transferred the weight left to right. He's now loaded that hip, unloads through that hip, throws the punch, and it's like throwing a baseball. There's no restriction in his arm. He's throwing a ball as far away as he possibly can, and this always the non-punching hand is on his chin. Go again. Good work. One, two. Fantastic. Once you've mastered this hip turn, I believe that you've mastered boxing. It's very, very important. Okay, thank you very much, Charlie. That brings us to the end of lesson four. Thank you.